Hi everyone, my name is Timothy and I am a warrior. I am, I don't even, I'm, okay, I'm not yet a lawyer, but I'm a law student, I'm presently in law school. And being a warrior has, been, has not been easy so far, but it's also been an amazing time. I got to know when I was a warrior when I was five years old. I don't really have problems, but I love going out to work. Like I don't like this then I love hanging out with friends. I love doing on my own. I'm presently in the law school, trying my best to be a lawyer by December, by the second But And being a warrior has been the most challenging thing, but it's also been an amazing experience so far. I don't regret it. Even if try to have no business. I have a blog titled Life of an Unbroken Warrior where I talk about the show and encourage other people about the show. And I'm from, okay, my mom's a single mom. Yes, the single parent rather. So it hasn't, it wasn't easy for her like raising a warrior, but at the moment she has no regrets. I am so happy. I'm so happy. I am not a stranger to the dark. Hide away. And who is this? Your family when I was much younger, life was totally unbearable. I was always in and out of the school. But at the moment, I feel over the years, I, I have learned how to manage it. I have learned what is good for me and what is not good for me. And it's been wonderful. So I have not been as so I think that. I okay, presently, I. Okay, presently, my daily routine is okay, obviously waking up, dressing up, going to work from my chamber apartment and read, read, read because I have a lot of books to read ahead of my bath and now. I really eat food nowadays, so my daily routine is quite boring. There's really nothing interesting about it. Nope, I've never had to go through any form of Instead, people call me horrible instead of calling me skinny, like you call other people to so, I haven't been. My biggest fear would be death. I always feel I could die at any time, that's why. I try my possible best to live my life. So when I die, <laughs> the world can. I know I have impacted quite a lot of things with people. So my biggest fear will be death. And the second thing will be not making my mom enjoy the truth of her. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but making my mom proud of me and working hard for her. I feel a lot of people think people sell warriors or a lot of people think warriors have a bit a time, a particular time for them to die. Because while growing up I used to hear, oh warriors are twenty five year old. They will, it's not, it's really sticky, and I feel that's the misconception people have about warriors. And the fact that warriors are liabilities, and the fact that warriors are problems, and the fact that warriors cannot mount the great thing, those are the misconceptions I have found out that people have about people. Nope. I don't feel limited 
Okay, but some instances are so limited because I really want to do something which I know that my health cannot is not capable of doing. So in those areas, I feel limited. But at the same time, I also need to know how does movie design. <laughs> I I really don't know, but I have less limitations. That's it. Not a stranger to the dark. First of all, there is no secret. I don't see any secret that they make me I'm not going to advise you. If you are my friend, I come and meet you and have someone that is yes, I want to marry. Nope, I don't see any future. So I'd rather not talk about that because there is no future. I mean, you feel you have a future with someone who is yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, my advice would be you shouldn't listen to what the negative things people say about you. You don't listen to people when they say, oh, don't do this, don't do this. Basically, I don't think you should know yourself. You shouldn't limit yourself to things. You should try and explore more. Do whatever makes you happy. And Personally, I don't like noodles so much in my body, but I have no option. So, instead of having to go into a surgery room to have a bone marrow transplant or whatever we do, do it, I have never thought about this and I'm not going to think about it now. So, I really don't have an idea of bone marrow transplant. I think whatever works for you works for you, but for me personally, I don't know. Okay, for me, I would say um taking a lot of water because I cannot remember the last time I took my routine so it's been over ten years, and I don't I don't even have them to start with, and I feel everyone has given up on me. But basically, don't stress yourself too much. To drink a lot of water, it goes a lot with a lot, and. I feel for me what has really worked for me is the fact that I know when to say no to things, I know when I am tired and I know when to and I drink a lot of water. So it's water that has actually helped me a lot. And I don't like to so. Um, basically in twenty seventeen I made a decision to start a blog talking about the different animals because I feel a lot of people are ignorant about that. And I feel um starting this vlog really really opened my life. Like not opened my personal life but my health my health life, yeah, my healthy life also. So I feel everybody, all my friends, everyone around me, anybody who knows me well knows that I'm a warrior, not a teacher, I'm a warrior. And everybody knows everything about me containing that any everything about me that has to do with people. So I think I'm very much open about my any type of people. Yes, I think there is a lot of stigma because a lot of people think people should to limit um the rate that rich warriors can kind of they have to do or whatever they do in life. And I feel that's really wrong. Typical is not the best thing. So you guys have to stop the stigma where all human beings like last last everybody will be right so. Probably when I was much younger, but I don't know. No, I don't think it has any mental I am not a stranger yes. to the dark. I feel Jesus Christ. No Jesus, no God, Jesus Christ to be fine. I really, really have faith in God, and I feel God has kept me moving all this way. Even for him, obviously. I am not a 
stranger to the dark. My greatest challenge is to take so probably be missing classes and missing like great portions I want to go to. So that's probably the only challenge I have. And probably drinking a lot of water, but I've come to the tent that myself and water like this time. We are together forever. And my worst to fail crisis, right? Yeah. Would probably be in 2010 when it was a really terrible experience. I was brought from the boarding house to Lagos because I literally didn't have any blood and I was taken to a private hospital and they just kept on giving me injection pain to have for every crisis I had. Then I had to call, my family members had to call my mom and tell her, and she wasn't with the contract that time. So she had to like fly in the next two days back into Nigeria, and I was rushed to the general hospital where I was placed in oxygen and blood at the same time. And general hospital was on strike at that point, and it was really, really difficult for them to get blood for me but somehow somehow they managed to get blood for me all of a sudden i started reacting to the blood and i was gone in that world and there was this particular nurse who came and she saw me it was actually the next one and she was like ah this girl can't survive so she never okay that was fine then my mom called her friends to pray with me and all of that but like i said no god no god be your friend I feel prayers really helped and by the next day I probably go back and when the old man came and saw me on the bed alive, I was like, Oh, that was a new picture. Mind you, Randa had already told okay, my general hospital is Randall and they told my mom to take me to Luke. And Luke Randall to Luke was just like coming in to me. And the doctors were like, oh, before they take me to look, I was going to die. So there was a time no point of taking me to look if I was going to die within that four minutes. So that was my, that was the worst experience I've ever had. I was in the hospital for like a month. That's yeah. So that's my worst experience. The fact that I get to inspire a lot of people, I get to random messages from different people on my social media, on my WhatsApp, and all of that. And they tell me about how much they are inspired. But inspiring is not really, really my aim. My aim is for people to be aware of people self. And if we're all aware and we keep talking to people about people self, it's going to reduce the amount of people living in the future. And I'm also, one of the things I'm really grateful for, or I'm happy about, is the fact that all my friends are educated about this, and I'm very sure none of them want to try it. So, my greatest joy is probably teaching people about the future and trying to reduce the amount of worries being born. I am not a stranger to the dark, hide away. They say, cause we don't want your broken parts. I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars. Run away, they say, no one will love you as you are. But I won't let them break me down to dust. I know that there's a place for us. For we are glorious. When the shop is burned, Wanna cut me down? I'm gonna send a blood, gonna drown a mind. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come.